God bless you, beautiful viewers of Gospel Train on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Twitter. I know you had a sound weekend, and the good Lord has always been there to bless, to keep, to mortify, and to energize your mortal body. I've come to you again today with a beautiful message, and it's going to be a short excerpt from what we had from the shepherd on a particular Tuesday. I want to tell you, I'm bringing this message to you because it really blessed me, it improved me, it opened my knowledge more. It's all about the power of believing. The power of believing. We're going to have this very short except now. And let's listen. It's going to bless you. Stay tuned. Are you getting me? Yes, that is why the confession is not a problem. To middle the mouth is not a problem. It's the believing in the heart. Because no one sees it. Praise God. Hallelujah. And now, if you must live with God and be with him, you must present these qualities of righteousness. That is where the problem is. So the problem is not really confession. It can be made by anybody. The problem now is righteousness. Let's see what happened in the Old Testament. Genesis chapter 15, verse 5. Genesis 15, verse 5. And he brought him forth abroad and said, look now toward heaven. This is God talking to Abraham. And tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, so shall thy seed be. Stop, don't go to the next verse. So shall thy seed be. Before God said this to Abraham, there is an action Abraham played before. He got to this level. Am I, am I communicating? Yes. The action he played and did, the obedience he portrayed, all is summed up in the word believe. He trusted God. I've, I'm supposed to put trust. To have trust in. To be confidence in. Am I communicating? Yes. Trust and confidence in. Praise God. Go back to verse 5. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. Verse number 6. And he believed in the Lord, and he was counted unto him for what? Righteousness. Without Romans chapter number 10, verse 9 coming to play. Do you know the span between Genesis and Romans chapter 10 verse 9? is more than 10,000 years. What are you talking? Thousands of years. But somebody caught it. There are things you do, but you don't know the name. Are, are, am I communicating with you? Are you getting me? There are some things you portray, but you don't know that these are qualities that God needs. Praise God. He believed God when there was no other reference. And he believed in the Lord, and God counted it unto him that he did not want, see, he did not want, God did not want um, Abraham to say, I believe you. He already did it in the heart, and God counted it unto him for that. Let me tell you something. This scripture means that there are many people, in fact, the real people that are truly repentant in heart are the people that listen to the word until they become. Not the people that get up and say, I receive Christ. They can do it ten times and it doesn't happen in their heart. Are you getting me? Are you getting me? I'm telling you. If you check where the people you call for altar call, they have attended altar call in 152 places. That's the 153 they are going to attend. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. I Communicating, I might tell you, 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 I mean you. I'm not talking about you, you. You know how many times you receive Christ until you met the Christ of Apostle Divine Seal Calf. I'm, I'm not saying that homologia is not important, that the confession is not important. I'm telling you at the higher realm of glory, 
that even without confession, somebody can be saved. It's a high, it's a high teaching now. Even without confession, somebody can be saved. Abraham was saved by believing God. God already marked it that is true. That he has already believed. So the power of believing granted him salvation. Am I communicating? The power of believing. And remember it is believing. It's not believed because there are many people, the day they came to LTM, their zeal was 128%. In fact, 250 Praise God. Instead of it adding, as time was going, it was dropping. It's even good when it's 250, it starts dropping. But don't let it drop below 100%. That's the problem now. As time goes, the zeal keeps dropping. You discover that it is not believing, it is believed. I, I love LTMO. That's, I love LTM. Just take note. When people start saying that, you start... I love, I love church. But I really love church. Oh. I really love church. Just check what the person is going to say next. Because if you love LTM, you don't even need to say it. We'll see it in your action. God punish the devil. Am I communicating? By believing Abraham. Do you know that truly Abraham was saved? Because even when he died, he did not go to hell. Or he did not go to the other side of hell. He went to his bosom. He believed God and they made him a house with AC in hell. Am I communicating? Yes, Why? Because he believed. When you believe a vision, there is power behind a vision to force you ahead. When you believe a vision, when you believe a man, the force that propelled the man to the level will propel you. Yes, are, are you getting me? Yes, if your trust and confidence lies in the God of Apostle Divine Seokafo, the very God that made him apostle can make you apostle. Because you believed in him and you believed in his God and God counted it unto you for righteousness. It means that God saw your belief and marked the belief and said, you have been chosen. The power of believing. The power of believing. There is power behind believing. Listen, when you believe in somebody, right, even if they catch the person with cocaine, you tell them that that thing is not cocaine, it's only milk. It cannot just be. Are you getting me? The person tells you that my son, this is cocaine. He said, I know that something has happened. It's not cocaine. Send it beside. Oh, you're welcome back from that beautiful message. I know your faith has been uplifted, has been heightened again. I know your belief system is going to be so, so, so unbeatable in a way that you're going to surmount everything that seems insurmountable. I want to encourage you. I came, or oh, Gospel Train is just there to encourage you, to encourage you in your faith work with the Messiah, with the Master, because there is no other life we can live except the life of Jesus. You've heard about the, the power to overcome you've heard about the power against you've heard about the power over so it's 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 all left to you which one do you want to rule it all depends on you and i really want to say a very big thank you to the shepherd of this great commission for giving me such an opportunity to bring to you the messages he teaches and the messages of the apostle apostle divinity okafo it's a very rare privilege for me in short it's a free will praise god and my viewers, I want to tell you, the good Lord is always there backing you and blessing you. Wondering how you might get a full dose of that message, you can just contact me, WhatsApp me. I have a lot of mails. Now, I will leave you in the peace, the love, and the blessing of the Most High God while you keep living in an atmosphere of transformation. God bless you.